Are you having problems with ProMouse? Is it not behaving quite as it should do? Well, stick around, this one is for you. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech, my name's Alec. Now, I made a video, which some of you may have seen a few weeks ago now, about a little application called ProMouse. And uh, just quickly, in case you didn't know what ProMouse is, it's this little thing that basically adds a little halo around your mouse pointer, but then also you can sort of shade the entire screen to highlight a particular uh, point or something like that. Uh, or you can also zoom in on a section of the screen uh, like that to, <laughs> to again highlight the screen and you can do sort of annotation on the screen with it as well. So this was an app that uh, I've been using. I've been using it for these videos but also for some other course material that, I, um, uh, that I'm making and I've never really had any problem with it at all except obviously human error that always comes into it with me <laughs> um, but uh, it's it's been relatively flawless for me uh, if you can have relatively flawless. It either is or it isn't, isn't it? But <laughs> it's it's worked perfectly for me in the past anyway. And so I've obviously recommended it to a few people and a few people have seen this, uh, the previous video that I did, which by the way, I will have already linked up in the top corner. Um, but they've used it and then sometimes I'll be watching them on their live stream and uh, they'll go to use it and something won't work and they'll call my name out in vain. Damn you, Alec. <laughs> What's going on with ProMouse? And it's not just one person, so it's not just down to uh, one person's human error. It's uh, multiple people I know have had uh, issues with it in it in it working properly, and I couldn't quite get my head around this why this would be where it for me it's worked fine, and for other people they're having these issues where they go to use it, it doesn't activate or something like that. So I couldn't get to the bottom of it. Well. This week, I've actually bought a new computer, bought a Mac, uh, uh, M1 Mac Mini, and so I've been going through the process of getting everything all set up. And sometimes you have these applications that you have on your computer that you've been using for a long time, and you maybe forget a couple of the setup steps. And I think there may be one of them that I was uh, not aware of, or at least hadn't recalled from uh, ProMouse. So just in case this is the issue, uh, I'm making this uh, this video. If this is not a niche video, I don't know what it is. But anyway, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I come into the top corner uh, using my Pro Mouse up in the top here, and then I'll come to open Pro Mouse Preferences, and then we've got the uh, Pro Mouse window, and you've got all of these uh, different settings here. So different settings to do with opening it. You've got the different settings for the halo, for zoom, for spotlight, for drawing, and so on. But then you've also got this tab here uh, or this section here called shortcuts and here you will find all of the shortcuts for zoom draw uh, clear the drawings and so on spotlight custom and so on and then you can also add a shift to these ones as well if you want it to be shift function shift option and so on and so what i'm wondering is if the default options which are these uh, which is what i'm using now so i'm pressing my uh, Option key to draw, my command key is to clear the drawings. Uh, zoom is the function key. And what was the other one? One of those others. Spotlight is control, there we go. <laughs> so I actually didn't have those set on my other ones. I had gone in here to these custom keyboard shortcuts and so I'd made mine quite specific and I'm wondering if maybe there was a clash going on between the standard commands here, so using control, command and option, if for example you were in another application uh, or you know uh, demonstrating an application that was using these then maybe that might have been causing an issue and so again I don't actually know if this is the solution but I just wanted to make a video about it just in case it might help <laughs> and so i had gone to enable keyboard shortcuts and then it will ask for accessibility access uh, so you click in here and it will open system preferences and then from here we need to go and unlock the system preferences uh, type in my handy easy to remember password <laughs> and then somewhere down here we should have uh, pro mouse and it's not in there so we will have to add it this is one thing i mentioned about when i talk about adding in these things sometimes when you actually uh, go to install something it will tell you to add it but it isn't actually there for you to tick it so let me just add in here this way and then i'm going to search in here for uh, pro mouse and somewhere let me try with a space there we go <laughs> it's there so i'm going to add it in this way and then uh, it's there. Yeah, it's already already been ticked. So there we go. I've added it in now and we've got ProMouse in there with a tick. So now I can uh, close this one out 
and now I'll be able to come back into this one and do enable shortcuts. And now you have these options to actually enable a lot more uh, shortcuts. So I'm just gonna put these as I'd got them before actually. So rather than just uh, function, control, option and command, uh, the way I'd done it is, and obviously you can choose your own shortcuts, uh, but I, I'd actually done for here um, function and option. So you press and hold and you can see how it's got this little icon next to it when you do it, that, uh, it's sort of thinking. So if I do this next one as function and control, so I'll just come in here, you can see it's thinking over at the right hand side as I press function and control and then you hold them down until it's learned the key. Uh, by the way, I never bothered with the toggle on and off. Uh, so either you're sort of using the zoom, pressing f uh, function and option uh, or, um, or you're not. <laughs> and I either turn the whole uh, pro mouse on or off uh, or it's on because I'm using it so I never want to actually sort of deactivate that particular feature so uh, I've just left those blank because I'm never going to use them in that re uh, in that respect okay so I have set the keyboard shortcuts now for uh, uh, pro mouse and one thing to bear in mind is if you find that you are having the uh, issue where it's not behaving quite as you think it should do, then do know which application that this might be happening in. And if there is a specific application that you notice where you know one of the, the Zoom command or something doesn't activate for some reason uh, when, you, when it should do, when you're using that application, uh, then just go and check what the sh keyboard shortcuts are associated with that particular app and then uh, just notice if there's any way that you can uh, change that. But if it is unavoidable, and there is uh, going to be that conflict then what you can actually do is you can come up to the active shortcut set here where it's default because you can change these keyboard shortcuts for pro mouse on an app by app basis so all we'd do for that is we'd come into here and go to manage keyboard shortcut set uh, and then you can uh, just add a new one so at the moment we've got uh, default but if I just duplicate that and call it something different so let's say uh, this was in a particular application perhaps Excel or something like that we could call that Excel and then you click in here to set application so coming in here you just do a search for Excel and there we go Microsoft Excel click on that and open and so then what we do is we click done and then what you can do is you can just come in here drop down to Excel and you can have a different set of shortcuts so this might be something where if you can't set sort of unique uh, global shortcuts then you may have to look at doing something on an app by app basis now bearing in mind that you are probably going to be using pro mouse in order to do demonstrations uh, just bear in mind it is going to be the active app that you want not necessarily the underlying app that you're using for the demonstration so i wouldn't necessarily want to change uh, this to make it a profile specific to ecamm because uh, ecamm live which is the software i'm using to make these videos uh, because more than likely the issue might be when I am actually coming out of Ecamm Live to go and demonstrate another application. So that's just something to bear in mind as well. So this video was all to hopefully give a few little pointers and ideas if anybody has been having uh, issues with ProMouse. I can't actually guarantee <laughs> that this will have solved any problems because as I say, it isn't a problem that I've had myself, um, but it is just something in going through and setting up this new Mac uh, and realizing that uh, the actual default for the shortcuts in ProMouse, just coming back to it for a moment, uh, I'd always just seen this as the default page, but actually the default page for the shortcuts is basically just a a list of the sort of predefined shortcuts so uh, that is all for this video if this has helped solve the problem then uh, then do let me know and similarly if it hasn't let me know as well because it is sort of uh, uh, in my brain a little bit trying to figure out what the issue is because I hate to recommend something and then somebody not get the same results that I'm getting from it so uh, yeah any feedback is greatly appreciated good or bad and uh, certainly if you're still having issues let me know and I'll try and figure out a solution some other way <laughs> so uh, and yeah if it's been useful then don't forget to go and hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you get notifications about any other previous videos that I've done that I'm now giving updates about <laughs> but uh, that's all for this time and I'll leave a link to some other app related videos over on the right hand side have a great day everyone